I suppose it's important, particularly um, at this moment in time with, with uh, everything that is going on within, within the health service, to restate the values of INMO Professional. INMO Professional, at its heart, is member-centric. And its values are that we strive to provide innovative, flexible, responsive education in a caring and welcoming environment, accommodating a wide variety of different adult learning styles. And we strive and continue um, to uphold those values as we move into, into the Richmond. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just to go through some of the key aspects in relationship to the uh, report. Just to say we've created an infographic. The infographic is available on the PDC table um, outside that summarizes all of the information that is already in, in the report. So this year we've had over 28,000 um, people logging on to INMO Professional. So that's a huge number of engagements from, from the membership. We've had participation in our activities of 4,500 uh, participants. And this is a total of 226 events. In terms of the type of events that we've, uh, we've delivered, predominantly they've been education programs, um, but also on-site education delivered within organizations that request um, our services, and also the very popular Tools for Safe Practice program that is <coughs> delivered throughout <coughs> the year. We've also had a growth in terms of the different programs that we've had Category 1 approval from the Nursing Board, the Nursing and Midwifery Board. Um, this coming year, we're intending to, again, refresh and revitalize those programs on an ongoing basis. You can see in terms of the attendance for the um, education programs that they peak early on in the year, fall off, and then come back in the late quarter. The number one program is retirement, the re retirement planning <laughs> seminar. <laughs> I don't know what that actually says in terms of uh, plans in the, in the future. Perhaps what it does say is that we have a membership that increasingly is getting older. And there's a, a need in terms of the replacement of nurses and midwives um, in the service and also in terms of recruitment within the INMO. Just to, say, just to reiterate that the clinical programs, the most popular ones, will management and also management um, for nurses as well, and also drug, drug administration. We've also hosted six conferences. Uh, national